U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Department of the Interior. Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. Time for our spring Chinook salmon fry to leave the egg trays and enter the troughs. The process begins with moving the young fish from their trays into the waiting tanks. Two people work together to move the trays. Each tray holds another internal tray with a mesh screen top. The inner tray is removed from the outer tray and placed in a cart full of water. Any fish that escape the mesh tray are scooped up with a net and added to the cart. These fish have been inside trays since they were fertilized eggs. Each tray holds between 2,000 and 4,000 fish. It's pretty crowded by now. The cart is pushed down the aisle to the next tank ready to receive fish. Two more hatchery employees are waiting to help. Each person takes a tray and carries it quickly to the tank. Three trays per tank. Once all the trays are emptied, any stray fish left in the cart are scooped up with a net and put into the tank. The trays are opened underwater, releasing the fry into their much larger world. At first they are disoriented, but soon they respond to their new situation by trying to make it more normal and clumping together, seeking shelter with their siblings. Fry at this stage have very large eyes and striped bodies for camouflage. They have never yet eaten solid food. Within a day or two, they'll learn to eat and will grow quickly. Let's watch that whole process again, but faster. Trays are collected in a cart full of water and wheeled down to the waiting tank by two people. Two more people help take the trays out of the cart and empty them into the tanks, tapping the trays to be sure all the young fish are released. Three trays are emptied into each tank. Any stray fish left behind in the cart are scooped up with a net. This process is repeated until all 122 tanks are filled. Video by Julia Pinnock's Visitor Services Manager, March 1, 2022.